Well, I'm going to tread on some dangerous waters here on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to talk about the subject of rape. Uh, I watched the Oscars earlier tonight. was really impressed with Leonardo DiCaprio's speech. I don't know whether it was a script he had memorized or whether it was something he was actually saying just right then. But, uh, wow. Anyway... I saw Lady Gaga's performance, and it was definitely tugged at the heartstrings. And I thought it was good that when the people came and walked up, that they included men. And, uh,. I cried a little bit. I was raped for over a year at a Baptist church I went to when I was eight. And I... Religion really fucked me up. And it made me afraid of sex. I never really fully recovered from it. I've never been a top. I'd always have this fear that it would be taking advantage of someone if I was to be a top. And for the longest time I would side with the staunch anti-feminists on this subject because I thought that I somehow thought that to acknowledge how often rape goes on, which, you know, hey, the statistics that are being brought up, they might be elevated a little bit, but it still happens a lot. Whether the statistics are slightly skewed or not, it still happens a lot. But I thought that if I was to uh, side with the feminists on that subject that in, in any way at all that I would be destroying my ability to get past some of the my the problems with my sexuality the only things that I really enjoy are uh, cuddling spooning human touch light touch Hugging, foot massages, head massages, massages everywhere, some BDSM, but actual sex, when I'd be a bottom, I would respond so nervously that the person fucking me would think that they're doing something wrong, and I'd give them a kind of a complex because of my body language. And I never felt the right to be a top. I thought it would be me taking advantage of someone else similar to how I was made to feel when I was raped and but yeah I thought that if I sided with the anti-feminists on this that I would you know get a somehow a better attitude and would eventually want to be you know more of a top, but it, it made it worse. It actually made it worse. And, you know, now my, you know, my sexuality is just pretty much around, you know, I mean, and I can get off many times in a day, but it's revolving around being heavy and natural musk, and that's kind of it. And it's rare for me to run into anyone who just wants to cuddle, who just wants the human touch. When I try to use any sort of hookup apps of any kind, everything's about, uh, it's all about sex, pure sex 
which is something I don't really enjoy that much. If at all, really. Even gay friends that I have, people I've known for a long time, if ever I want to get together, it's want to have sex? And I don't know how to tell them that I'm so damaged that I don't enjoy it. So, um, okay, just keep your composure a little bit. Um, so, when I saw Lady Gaga's performance, you know, it, it, I was crying. And I started thinking to myself, oh God, I'm betting some of the anti-feminists are going to actually speak against this performance. And then I found out that it was from uh, September of last year, that the song was, and so I, I looked it up on YouTube. and saw this. Fourteen thousand five hundred and twenty-six thumbs down. Now I understand that... I understand that some people just don't like Lady Gaga and some people just don't like the way the song sounds and that's fair. But that is a hell of a lot of thumbs down. And, uh... But then I looked at the comments and saw this sort of thing. Yes, lovely. And I saw this as well. So you can pause that and read it on your own time. But I'm reminded of some of the stances that I would take for a while. And I'm reminded of how so many of the people that are staunch anti-feminists, every time the subject of rape comes up, it will be this defensive reaction saying, well, there's false rape accusations, false rape accusations. And it's like, yes, there, there are false rape accusations and they suck. But to put those things as important as how often actual rape occurs. Well, the statistics are, are, are elevated. They're, 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 you know, it's made out to be more of a problem than it is. It might be, the statistics may be a bit elevated from what is actually happening, but what is actually happening is still too much. It's too much. And we've got religious Republican types that are in office, in office, being able to create laws or approve laws or suggest laws who have, you know, the Rush Limbaugh kind of attitude. Oh, well, what was she wearing? Well, the truth of the matter is, and this has been proven, if someone's dressing slutty, they're actually less likely to be raped than the person who's dressing modestly. Because in the minds of a rapist, someone who's dressing modestly is someone who is going to be looked at as hard to get, and that's a better target for them. 
So this whole thing of someone showing off their body more makes them more likely to be raped, it's bullshit. The facts do not back up that kind of position. We've got Republicans in office who say things like, well, if she didn't fight back too much, she must have enjoyed it. These are people that are in office. And then as I said, we've got these people who every single time rape is mentioned, they get this defensive reaction and saying, well, there's false rape accusations. You know, when you, when you look around, you look around, you Google around, and you try to look for, for false rape accusations, you might, when you really look hard, you might find 30. 30. That's like, that's not even, that's not even, that's, that's, that's like a 20th of a drop in the bucket compared to how many rapes are actually happening. Now, granted, when people deny that false rape accusations are happening, it makes those false rape accusations that much more important to those who, for instance, have been falsely accused of rape. But don't make it sound like these false rape accusations are somehow the rule and not the exception. So what, I'm, what it's boiling down to basically is some of these feminists will talk about a rape culture. And they make it sound like it's the majority of people when it's not. It's a very small minority of people. But the culture exists. The culture is there. And it's especially common within stereotypical Republicans. So, and yes, men are raped. And this gets talked about as well. It's sad how when men are raped, like in prison, it's viewed as, ah, ha, 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 ha. And that's lame. That sucks. Rape sucks. It's an obvious statement. But there are those that make excuses for it. And if you're one of the people who every time the subject of rape comes up, you have to say, well, there's false rape accusations you are essentially excusing rape. No, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm speaking against the extremist feminists. Then be careful about the way that you do. I don't really know what more to say right now. But, uh, I think I've said all I need to say. <laughs>